those that are looking into the beauty business, depend, like I said, depending on the shop size, what you're willing to pay for rent, um, and your ultimate design will really kind of um, determine where your money's gonna, you know, at least where you're starting from and where, like, where you're capping off at. opportunity right now that you can really make some good money and invest money into I definitely say will be into real estate I'm not sure I understand it but everything seems brighter now than before so yeah people are you know people are definitely watching people are supporting and I really appreciate everyone for doing that um so yeah i hope i was able to like answer some questions um i think like throughout the video i'll just kind of give you guys like breakdowns figures of some of the stuff that like and categories that we kind of broke down on our budget sheet so i'll give you guys a sense and an idea so you guys can kind of use it but if you want detailed um if you want my links if you want a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me and more into details about the money that I spend, people that I use and things like that. I'm definitely willing to speak to people. That's all part of my consultant package to help people also um, start businesses here in Ghana. So um, if you would like to know more details, would like to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, check my, um, the description box and I'll leave my email for you guys to contact me and um, we can go from there. Like I told you, I'm doing so I'm doing two pack. Um, well, I have multiple packages, but the main two packages is those who are interested in just moving back, and then those who are interested in starting a business. Or if you want the combo of the moving back, starting business too, I do it that as well. And so far, I think um, the few people that I've you know I've been working with, I think it's been really helpful. The information I've been giving to them, and then the I think you know the best advice you can get is someone who's who's done it right. Um, granted, I'm like I'm new in it, but like. I think it's because everything is still fresh in my mind and things like that. Catch me now, guys. Catch me. <laughs> Catch me now. Um, and no gatekeeping out here or anything like that, guys. I'm, I'm open to, you know, to, to share and um, talk and things like that. And, you know, can run some ideas through me. And, um, yeah, so that's that for the consulting part. So for um, other business ideas, I really realized that, I mean, real estate here in Ghana is probably like your number one bet. Granted, it's a lot of money to get into it. But once you are in it, once you invest, whether you're buying an apartment or whether you're buying a land and building apartments, building a home, like building stores, real estate is the way to go. Real estate will make you good money. Longevity too. There's longevity in it. It'll make you money. But the first few years and putting your time into making it happen it's not gonna be easy guys i would not lie to you you can have the cash to do it but you have to have the zeal and the strength for what it's gonna come with because there's gonna be a lot of uh you know a lot of parts that go into making it happen different people you're gonna be working with and things like that so um i also do have uh, a couple of people in um, in the real estate uh, industry that I would love to connect to you guys if you know you're ready to talk to me about you know getting into that sector too as well um, for those of you who are interested in getting into food or grocery shop too as well um, and then of course the beauty industry as well so I think so yeah the biggest um, opportunity right now that you can really make some good money and invest money into I definitely say will be into real estate for sure even if you just buy and sell lands i know some people just buy the land and then resell it and like like you know six months or a year later and they'll get their money and profit back so some people are doing that too as well so real estate is big food is always a go-to 
um trust me even if i don't like your food the next person may like it and you still make money so um food is a big thing i feel like that's why there's so many restaurants always popping up but the good thing about food here in ghana you don't ultimately always have to have a nice fancy place because i kid you not the local local joints that you see the small little stand outside they make money on a daily basis on a daily basis and that's the good thing about food is you're getting income on a daily basis so it requires a little more time you know and you have to be more attentive because i'm shopping you need to go and find your your vendors or where you're going to get you know your 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 food stuff and things like that but it's good money at the end of the day so food is you know your your idea too as well that's another good idea um and then of course beauty beauty nails hair spas um yeah nails hair spa it's a big thing here now in Ghana. The girls are getting more into self-care and taking care of themselves. So it's a big deal now if you have, you know, those type of shops too. So money-making machines. Now you have um, down to uh, some of the, not the typical, typical, um, you know, businesses people get into, but delivery is a big thing here in ghana like if you can get a proper delivery service like for good riders get people's food on time you'll make good decent money in, in in the delivery section like that's a that's a good one um construction also people are always building so if you get into the construction business that's good and good money because right now i feel like buy and sell has always been the big thing here in ghana but it's slowly like kind of dying off like there's too many people it's too saturated too many people are in that business so like you'll make money but i i feel like we should start getting away more away from the buy and sell get more into service like service-based business like i provide your service you know most some people like i don't want to you know i don't want to do my hair myself so i'm going to go <laughs> to get my hair done so i'm providing you a service people are paying for that now you, you will be surprised this particular business is becoming a booming business but it's scary too at the same time. Um, starting a school, guys. There are so many schools popping up, so many private schools um, popping up here and there, but people say there's a lot of money into it. I don't see myself getting into that type of business, but if that's something that you're into, that's you know that could be another um good business opportunity too as well so there's so there's so much you know there's a lot here that can be done and i know that the more and more um you know diasporans come and visit they see the they see where the lack is and then they turn that into a business so if you come here and you see that like you can turn you can turn a lot of things into businesses here in ghana and the flexibility of starting business here too is is pretty is pretty simple it's not too crazy so it makes more it, it makes it more inviting for people to come here to start businesses um and those of you in the tourism section too as well there's always tons of money to make on that side of town too because um of course of the attention that that ghana has gotten you know people thought by now like people won't be coming to ghana anymore especially after the whole year return but no this december there was still a lot of people in town and there's still even currently a lot of people in town even now in january so and now ghana is becoming like that destination place that you don't only just come for december or summer people are coming throughout the year so that right there can tell you how many different opportunities you can you know you can come up with different things it can be very creative in terms of starting business here but like i said nothing is easy to start um of course you need the the moolah you need the money you need the connects you need you know good people by your side to make it happen you need that zeal you need um you know the attitude that i'm going to be hands-on i'm going to be involved and everything like that so i think i've said enough <laughs> i think i've said enough i think i've shared a lot with you guys and like i said if you want to know more please take the opportunity and um set up a meeting with me um for consulting for business or moving back to Ghana I, I I will give you all the tea I will give you all the tea so um so yeah that's that I hope that that was um helpful I hope that has um started up some ideas in your mind I hope that has made you want to come to Ghana even more um because I will always uh you know I would tell people yeah Ghana's hard but 
you can still come. Like I said, choose your choose your battle, choose your poison. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I hope, like I said, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I think I'm gonna just get more into um, just more business business based videos every now and then. I'll drop my vlogs and stuff um, because these days my my life is pretty much the same all the time. It's at the shop doing things for the shop it's not every now and then i might do something fun uh so so yeah that's that so that's kind of what you know i feel like the new year it's kind of going into and i hope that you guys continue to stick around and um and enjoy the channel we are almost at thirty thousand subscribers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so um so yeah that's exciting um so happy new year again to everyone and i hope this new year will be prosperous it will be beautiful it will be um you know full of blessings and favor and thank you guys once again for always um tuning in and if you see me don't be a stranger say hi i don't bite <laughs> all right guys make sure you continue to like subscribe comment and share and i will see you guys on the next video